Welcome to Reptilian Diaries. I'm Frank, and we do reptiles here. It's been a minute. I said that in the last video, but it really has been a minute, and I am sorry for that. It just got crazy, man. Life happens, and uh, it just, I mean, it happens when it will and, and as it will. So, I got sick. I think we all got sick. You know how that went. Solid week or so, out of commission. Like I said in the last video, just moved. Reptiles are crazy. Trying to just get everything in order. Just trying to find balance in life, man. I just, I couldn't do videos. It just hasn't been in me. But I'm back and I'm ready. And this is a short episode. It's just a, just a, it's part two of the West Texas series. It's a quick one, but it is me saying, hey guys, I'm not dead. I'm not done. Shit's popping. Stay tuned because uh, cool stuff's coming. So Episode two, there's going to be one more episode in this series, and then we'll wrap that up. Then we're going to do some local stuff. I have another trip to Baja planned, probably something in maybe South America or the Middle East or something later in the year. Not sure yet, but good stuff on the horizon. We're also going to probably start doing some captive stuff. I did say I would do a tour. I will do that at some point. I don't know when. Don't hold your breath, but it will happen. I'll show you guys some of the collection, not all, because... Uh, just weird like that. I don't want to show you everything, but I'll show you some good stuff. It's not going to be some nonsense like, oh, watch me feed every fucking lizard in my collection crap. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be like Reptilian Diary style, legit, just reptile stuff. So hope you enjoy this episode. Yeah, we'll talk in a minute. All right. So it's next day, herped all night last night till six o'clock in the morning. We got back and crashed out. Just woke up. Got coffee, I think it's about 2 p.m. It's 110 degrees outside. So, not a lot of herping going on right now. But we're charging batteries, we're eating, we're getting ready, we're looking at field guides, whatnot, checking out the photos and stuff from last night, and planning what we're gonna do today. All right, so we're on the road. Greggy's driving, drinking his friggin' Starbucks. And we are headed to the desert. We're driving along the Rio Grande right now, and it's a pretty dope road. And we're going to go, we're gonna go look for some frogs, I believe. So we'll kind of see what happens, but tonight should be good. We're gonna do more of the same. We're gonna be after Big Ben geckos again, because I would like to find one. Greg found the last one, which teamwork makes the dream work, but I still wanna see one. So we're gonna do that, and hopefully find some other snakes and whatnot, so. Wish us luck. We'll show you some of this cool scenery as we drive through. creek was a bust because it was dry it's like a drought it was a dope spot but there was just there was nothing happening it was completely bone dry so we came to this other creek which does have a little bit of water in it so we're gonna go and kind of poke around a little bit it's friggin eight o'clock at night right now and it's 109 degrees so a little crazy temperatures but we'll see so it's kind of cool down here there's water. <laughs> Funny ass graffiti. <laughs> cool Funny stuff. We're gonna look for some frogs. If we find some, I will show them to you. So we just found a nice friggin' soft shell turtle. We're gonna catch him. I think this is the first turtle of the channel, which is pretty fing cool. So we're gonna get him. He's right in here. And there's mosquitoes like a mother down here. I'll just, I'll just go in there and get him. Greg's gonna go around. I got flip-flops on, so let me kick these flip-flops off and I'm gonna get him. I'm actually gonna put you guys on the bank here while we catch it. Hang on, Greg.
Awesome. <laughs> Cute, yeah, huh? So cool. Freaking broke my damn flip flop. I'm like the king of Blake. I'm the king of breaking flip flops, and I'm the king of losing turtles. <laughs> Look at him. He's dope. He's him from the top. He tried to bite me so many times. Oh, oh so he's a spiny soft shell. Yes. Is it the back area? Yeah, I guess. Uh, well, you gotta say, watch out. Yeah, spiny right there. Nice. Got him? Okay, how cool is that? So these guys get way bigger. These are native spiny softshell turtle down here in South Te or uh, West Texas. Super cool, man. Just found some little puddles in this creek. This water's hot, and these fools are in here. This is the third one we found. I couldn't catch you. Um, that was funny. <laughs> okay. There you go. do it those little turtles were sick i know a lot of you guys probably are like fucking soft shell turtle dude we see them all the time i don't and i was like i was psyched i suck at catching them i didn't even catch one like that was i just i blew that but it's okay because greg caught one little guy and we just had a good time killed some time down there it was hot as balls killed some time <clears throat> and ended up going just rock cut walking um walked some washes and stuff like that and it really was a slow night but it you know it turned up a little bit it's just kind of the way west texas is sometimes it can be hot and just dead sometimes it's hot and epic but uh, i'm still a rookie there so i'm paying my dues but yeah we just kind of wasted some time and now we're gonna do some night hikes so check it so we've been walking cuts for most of the night and it's been pretty quiet not a lot of snakes um did a little road cruising now we're gonna walk a canyon which is not a cut we're leaving the road and uh, we're gonna see what we can find don't know what uh what the deal is it's it's pretty hot it's dry so i don't know but we're gonna give it a shot see how it goes really really thick in here but we're gonna keep kind of following this wall the snakes a lot of times will come down off of these come out of the cracks and the nooks and crannies in these walls and they'll come down into these kind of riverbeds so we're gonna keep walking see what happens Pays off, guys. Bogartophus sabacularis, Transpecos rat snake. Can you believe that? How sick is that? He climbs right up that wall. Holy crap! We're gonna get him down to have a closer look. Let's bring him down. Let me see. All right, guys. So this is Bogartophus sabacularis. 
This is one of the main targets of this trip. Super stoked to have found this one. This one's probably, I don't know, probably a yearling, maybe a two-year-old snake. It's probably about two feet, maybe 18 inches. These guys are nocturnal and they live on these cl nasty cliff faces that you've been seeing in this video. And I'm just so stoked to have found this guy, man. I mean, the big bug eyes, these things are nocturnal, totally harmless, very mellow. These guys eat rodents and lizards and they're just absolutely awesome. The Transpecos rat snake. Look at that. Look at that, those black twin lines going down. The H pattern on his back. The big bug eyes. I mean, these things are so awesome. So we're gonna take photos of this guy and put him back on his cut. So we're on our way home, just cruised this little, looks like a baby Western Diamondback Crotalus Aatrox. It's super light colored, so it's kind of interesting. Check it out. I don't know, I think it's a, I think it's a Mojave with that head. It might be. The head, it's got the head of a Mojave though, so. Might be a Mojave actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna retract that Aatrox statement. <laughs> So yeah, Crotalus, Scutellatus, Mojave, Di Mojave Diamondback. It's fucking late. It's always late here in Big Bend. Uh, Mojave rattlesnake, beautiful animal. So yeah, it paid off, man. That was my first Subocularis, first Suboc, first Transpecos rat snake. Over the moon for that snake. Got to see it on a cut, so it was like, it was epic. It was just epic. Really nice snake. Uh, totally tame and just cooperated for film, cooperated for pictures. It, it was just was really cool, man. Walking down a cut, boom, snake up on the rock, Transpecos, exactly what I wanted to see. Just psyched. And uh, that little rattlesnake, like I now I'm re-watching that footage and I mean, I'm not, I don't know what that thing is. I know it's either a Mojave or an Aatrox. It's super light, it's like hypo or something. So you, uh, you West Texas Crotalus guys, weigh in on this, what is it? Cause I don't know. Right now I think it's a Mojave but I just don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Episode three will be out sooner than like four months or whatever my last one was, I promise. It'll probably be three weeks, maybe four, maybe two. I don't know, depends on how much time I have. But stick around, because Reptilian Diaries is not dead. Thank you guys for watching.